Alright. Hello, YouTube. So, we had a Charmander that evolved into a Magby. Unfortunately, we've changed our primary type of attack. And beyond that, this Magby also has approximately base 10 in its defensive stats. Its special defense is actually worse than that in all likelihood. It's definitely worse than that. Yeah, our our defensive stats are awful. Our HP is decent, but we're gonna die to any hit. Literally any hit. Look at how much damage this is gonna deal. We we are five levels higher and we resist it. Plus zero. Plus one. We're not even particularly fast, either. That's the worst part of this all. on that to star. I think we might die to poison before. We can use the potion against the wild. Actually We're dead. Yeah, we're dead. I can't say I'm surprised. It can miss high jump kick and knock itself out. So, I don't know if we've gotten the items down there, but that's probably our... Yeah, I don't think we have, because the Charmander wasn't all that fast. So it's probably our best chance at living, is that one of these can cure poison. The only issue is we might fail to run from some of the wild. Go for thunder before I die. Yeah, the Charmander wasn't fast, so we didn't go for these. Okay. So... The encountering a wild Pokemon resets the step counter for poison.
That said, I don't think anything saves us for a full restore, so... That doesn't help. So, our only option at this point, if we want to try and win the run, is to... catch a pivot. And it has to catch on the first ball. Not likely to win, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna bother looking too hard. Sure. Nope, we're dead. Okay. That's really unfortunate, but... What are you going to do? I don't think that Magby was going to be Brock. So it's... Not the worst thing in the world, but it's dead. As cool as a double evolution run would have been. You know what sucks is that in later generations you can't die to poison. It'll fade away at 1 HP. In fact, I think... It's either... No, Emerald. Emerald still has it. It's Gen 4 that started that. Not actually sure about Diamond and Pearl. But I know for a fact that Heart Gold Soul Silver. The poison fades away. And leaves you with 1 HP. But... Not in this gen. Execute it is. Oh. What the fuck? I feel like we get truant in the lab way more often than we have any right to. Like there there aren't there are a fair few abilities in Gen 3. And yet this one has an unusually high frequency. It doesn't matter, because we're just gonna get two shots here. Yeah. It is the injustice of the lab that my super effective stab move doesn't two-shot, but their 40 base power super effective granted move does. Where's our seeds? Here's seed of 150. Seed 153! <laughs> the truth. <laughs> Seed 153. Do I decide how many seeds I want to do? Because I am... 
I'm not getting bored, but I am hankering to play some Pokemon normally. So, at some point, Theoretically, so the way it works is you have to say what ball you're going to pick. And unless there's a favorite, which you can declare three of, you have to take whatever ball you say you're going to take. And I just... I just default to the left one. So in theory for this run, I can say I'm gonna go right. But now I'm stuck with this Pokemon. Which is not a terrible thing to be stuck with, but... Still... There's an Articuno. No, we're finding a Typhlosion, yeah, because we went right. Lord Helix is effective but not particularly likely to win this fight. Okay. That did okay damage. Okay. Mm. Um, we'll feign to recoil before we knock this out, so we have to hope for an ice beam freeze. Such is life when you're three levels lower at level five. <laughs> Getting knocked out by Gen 3 knockoff, which is a 20 base power move. <laughs> then in Gen 6, they decided, you know what? We're gonna spin the wheel. And we're going to make one move absolutely OP. And how about... And so, how about we make knockoff 65 power? 1.5 times as strong if the target has an item that can be removed. And of course it's still item removed. Because that's balance. Like, knockoff was still a good utility move before they decided to make it ridiculous. And I was like, oh, do you learn knockoff? If you learn knockoff, you're running knockoff. So yeah, that, that is the story of knockoff in competitive Pokemon.
That's not allowed, so... We're just gonna take one of them. This Larvitar stinks! Well, not really at his stab earthquake. But it has stench. Also, Earthquake is resisted. Two earthquakes will kill it from here. A mega horn and an earthquake will kill. I don't think two earthquakes will. Oh wow. It's a very interesting pine cone you got there. like to report the rival for using a banned move. Because Spore is banned. Well, not for the AI, but for me. I'm not allowed to use Spore. Yeah, I, I heard of that. I really only doubles, obviously. Did you know, on the topic of Regigigas, that until Generation 8, Regigigas could not learn to protect or rest? <laughs> Game Freak were that sadistic about trying to make Slow Start stick. I believe that every, if not every Pokemon, then close to every Pokemon that could learn any teams at all could learn Protect and Rest. But not Regigigas. Other interesting facts. I suppose another one is <laughs> shouldn't even give her Reggie gives. Yeah, I know. Game Freak in Gen 4 was like, here's a 670 DSC normal type. The normal type is really not that good. And 670 BSC is nothing unheard of. They've already made 670 BSC Pokemon with metagame defining abilities. How about we give this thing slow start? Wait. Huh. And then you have, oh, Stab Signal Beam. Here in Generation 8, well, let's slow down and go to Gen 6. Let's make Mega Rayquaza, a Mega that can hold an item and gets to Mega Evolve for using a move instead of 
taking a mega stone. We're holding a mega stone. And that gains extra VST on top of its 67680. And then we have Generation 8, where we're like, okay, so here is our 720 base tat total legendary that gets a fucking plus one to attack just for switching it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> What's wrong with game? And it has a shitty 670, 680 BSC version that is still banned to anything go. Because it's that fucking dumb. from lower tiers. It's banned from having sheer force and being very fast. Mostly. Oh, we were even speed tied. Huh. even more hilarious about Rayquaza, or Mega Rayquaza, and Mega Mewtwo, is how about we give two strong legendary Mega Evolutions instead of, I don't know, Pokemon that could use the boost in competitive viability? Now, they did give Megas to a few Pokemon that that actually gained competitive viability from it, like Beedrill and Pidgeot. So it's not entirely, like, off-kilter in that regard, but... You know, why do all of the Gen 3 starters get it, and all of the Gen 1 starters get it, but not the Gen 2, or the Gen 4? Like, name a starter that needs buffs more than Meganium. I dare you. And what about all of the... Garbage Pokemon in Gen 2 that Game Freak chooses to forget they made. Also, look at how high up on the box Love Disc is. Eternatus is the first poison type legendary. Isn't. God, what's it called? It looks like a needle. What is it friggin' called? Nagonidal. Isn't that poison type?
I guess Nagano is not technically a legendary. It's an ultra beat. Because there's a difference. Well, I think we are actually going to win that. Wow, it lived. Well, that's gonna do one damage. Yep. If this thing had a little more special attack, I would take it. But it doesn't. As it stands, I'm not so sure. The special defense is nice because all ice moves are special in Gen 3. I'm just not sure it's quite what we're looking for because 13 special attack at level 7 is so-so. Tornadus is the first pure flying type. I believe that is... Yeah, that's true unless you count... Unless you count Arceus flying, which... Eh. And even then, Arceus... didn't really come into competitive use. Well, it was, I believe Arceus was controversial in Gen 4. I think it was... Not certain... It was on and off being banned from Ubers. Yeah, that's one of two for this road, and it's not particularly good. Jinx. Jinx's BSC is lower than I remember, actually. Yep. It did. I think 720... No, wait. I think Eternatus might be higher. But 720... Still very high even among legendaries. The thing is that Arceus is... Relatively balanced for 720 BSC because... It's all 120, which... 120 is a great stat if you're not legendary. Among legendaries, it's... So, so. And you also have to hold a plate to change your typing. Nikim <laughs> nod. Jinx is creepy. Have you ever... Have you ever seen Jinx's Gen 1 back sprite? It's really kinda weird. This is... Yeah, <laughs> this gas? This grass is coated in goo. There we go. That could be good.
Oh. Well, we should be fine. Or... Huh. I will bet you that, yes, it was quite effective, but I will bet you that Blastoise has at least decent special attack. So let's have a look. Because we have a tool for these things. So... We are level seven. Our special defense is 120 something. Or Aurora Beam, it was level five. One. Um, let's see. Really? So to do twenty one to us. Yeah, the Blast Choice has pretty good special attack. Yeah, it was changed because, you know, black face. <laughs> I think it goes without saying. I think it's different in the... I think it still has a black face in, like, red and blue. I'm not sure about yellow, but I know it's actually different between different versions of Pokemon Stadium. And then obviously they changed it for the Virtual Council. I'm strongly considering the blast toys, but let's keep looking. Because there could be some good stuff. Plus there's a chance the blast toys can't be an eight. Seem to be a lot of bouncing pigs around. Next thing you know, they're going to ask us to fetch their pearl on drenched block. Doesn't learn move. You can check, but it would have to be 10 out of 10. Oh! Huh. That's a great start.
you know, it's not common for me to run a stone at her. They barely learn moves. But if that polygraph shows me one more good move, I'd consider it. Crab Hammer is... Unfortunately, one of the stronger water moves. Unfortunately, that did not do much damage. We have a lot of special defense, but not enough for eight to do crazy. I think... I, I think its special attack is pretty bad. Because the Blastoise had good special attack at level 5, and it did 21 with a 240 power move. If, so in theory, Crunch would be doing about 7 from that Blastoise at level 5. So, and it did 3 from the Polyrath at 8. So its special attack is bad, I think. Yeah, it was 4x super effective, so like, six, I think it's 60 or 65, so it's 240 or 260 power. So it's 80, so it would be equivalent to getting hit with, so 21, if it's 260, we'll call it pretty numbers and say Crunch would do about the third. About a third, a little under. So crunch from that Blastoise would do seven, possibly. The Blastoise is good special attack. The Polyrath did three to us, three levels higher. So there's no way it has good special attack. At most mediocre. That did solid damage, I think. Mm. We can have a look. So, for it to do 15 to me, how much attack does that have to be? So we are level 7, okay. our defense is pretty bad, unfortunately. So it's probably not actually all that strong, so it's also the level 8. Um, so, okay, the attack is probably decent on the dust clocks. Yeah, the attack's probably decent. Good to know.
Slash did do half my HP. Unfortunately, our defense is actually not very good at all. It's like... Actually, we do have a minus defense nature. But our defense, if we didn't have that nature, our defense would be about base 35 or so. So really... It's like a... That's like... Slightly lower defense. Around the defense of a first form starter. Which is bad considering we're 490 VSD. Persian. is kind of the limit of what I'd consider. We're very close to the limit. Okay, that won't hit me. Slam is terrible. Rapid spin is mediocre. I'm gonna run after this. Okay. Lots of heals, so we should really think hard about about what we take. Probably won't be this Persian though. The Persian mediocre. Actually, pretty bad. Slam. I... Personally, didn't like all of the move removals from Generation 8. For instance, I think Return did nothing wrong. But I'm not gonna cry any... I think Slam still exists, though. And I would not have cried any tears if they removed Slam. What an awful move. <laughs> like, actually awful. A lot of those Gen 1 normal moves were... Pretty bad, like, oh my god, so many heals. Yeah, the blast phase is looking like the best option right now. Where was I about Gen 1 normal moves? Oh yeah, you had... Well, you had Mega Punch and Mega Kick, which were fine because they were supposed to be obtained early. At least Mega Punch was, and actually Mega Kick... I believe you had to buy it from the department store, so it wasn't that early. But they're okay as, like, early moves. They're balanced by having high power and low accuracy and being available when most of your moves are, like, 40-ish power. Then you have... Takedown, which is not available early, has... 90 power, so, what, 10 more than Mega Hunt? And 5 more than Body Slam, which you can get earlier than Takedown. 85 accuracy does recoil. What? Not to mention it's strictly worse than Double Edge. 100 power, 100 accuracy does recoil in Gen 1. Later became 120 power because not all that much stronger than Body Slam. Then you have... Razor Wind. Okay, we're catching this. In Gen 1, Razor Wind 
is a is a two turn move that doesn't have a semi invulnerable card. Eighty power, no extra effect, seventy five accuracy. Seventy-five accuracy. The like Gen One Razor Wind is the worst. Tweakus wouldn't do anything. Confusion doesn't increase cat chance. We can try one more, I think, unless we get crit. Come on, Blastoise, give him the friggin' ball. I guess we could secret power it to weaken it. Because I don't know how much it'll improve our odds. Because... We'd have to run if it uses Aurora Beam. <laughs> Hopefully we find another... Another level 8 Blastoise. There's no guarantee, though. Oh, look at this thing. It's, a, it's smiling at me with a weird-ass little face. You know... Okay, I'm gonna try hitting this with Psybeam. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw balls. Locked into uproar. I'd rather have more chances than... Oh my god. Please get in the ball, you dumb turtle! There we go. <laughs> it's looking like a Pokemon day here. it anyways. We better hope the 10 move is good. That sucks so bad. 1 in 4 to lose Aurora Beam. At least I think it was 1 in 4 to lose Aurora Beam. Okay, things that exist... Ugh. No, I was in the process of saying things that resist grass... ...don't exist. I'm gonna Needle Arm first, just in case it does a lot of damage. It does not. But we got Feather Dance! 
Um. Huh. Oh, you know I could have tried the Dusk Bomb. Shit, you're right. Oh. You know what? We'll pay the quarter on the Dusk Bomb. See if it was any good. Come on, this Meganium is... Why did it get to have stab leaf blade? Just, you know, the best grass move in this gen. No, it would have been very helpful. Well, we probably would have just got one shot by it. If we caught a lower level one. Wow, starter boy here. Okay, let's catch what, let's see what the dust Squaps is like. And then we will go on to the next run. Hey. I'd like to know what the cost of my idiocy was. You may as well use the Altaria since it's way faster. No, I'm not supposed to use... I can only use one at a time, but I just want to see what the dust clock was like. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Only this Persian would stop showing up. Sharpino. Gonna give this a few more encounters. There it is. Okay. Oh wow, it could even have been level 9. Wow. Mega Drain, not good. In the ball, that's flop. I think it was in the place of Scyther. Neither does it learn Mega Drain, does it? If it does, it doesn't run it.
Hidden power is always hidden power fighting. Power oh wait, no. It's always hidden power fighting for the AI. We have no idea what that is, actually. But it's probably physical. Let's see what this is like. Um, next set is okay. Doesn't have a lot of coverage. Might have been good with moves. Without moves, probably not going anywhere. Alright. It might be the Meganium, because it... It might have. Then again, I think it may well have died, because I doubt it one-shots the Meganium. Unless that hidden power happens to be... Happens to be HP flying. <laughs> Or poison. And a good one at that. The beginning might have used Feather Dance. You probably lose to Feather Dancer. Oh, we did have a lot of heals, though. So. Maybe not getting one shot would have been productive. So I had no way of knowing that the bug catcher would have a grass type with the best grass. Because Leaf Blade is actually the best grass move in terms of single turn base power in Gen 3. I don't know what the rival had. It probably doesn't match. Oh yeah, he had a show. <laughs> yeah. We're probably gonna die to this Macho. Um. Try eruption. You know, if we don't... Mm. Don't think we're going to Volt Tackle Recoil here. Alright. We are out. Bubble is not illegal. Yep. I... As long as I've been doing Kaizo Ironmon, at least, I've been doing that. For the female ones. I don't do it for the male ones, because... 
Then they would be... All Renosuke is not as fun as just giving them just random nicknames off the top of my head. I do it because, well, I used to look at a bunch of and just a big old pile of Japanese names to name my Pokemon. So I like those names. But now, courtesy of oh, a certain franchise of bullet hell games, I have some Japanese names with a fair bit of meaning. A fair few Japanese names with a fair bit of meaning attached to them in my head. So that makes it a lot easier. Taking this APOM, by the way. It is good for an APOM, but it's an APOM. So. See what's hanging around. Probably not taking Shop It. I think I remember that. I played Explorers as a kid more so than Red and Blue Rescue Team. And even as a kid, I could feel... The gripes I still have with Red and Blue Rescue Team to this day, which is that... The dungeons are too long for how easy they are. Especially post-game. Before Gen 4, yeah. Bombfly showed up in XD Gale of Darkness before Gen 4. Post-game of Red and Blue Rescue Team, though, it's like... The stuff is like level 30 in the last dungeon. Like, what? meaning to pick up a file of explorers that I have lying around and just do you know, the late parts of the post game after you know, after Dark Crater and such. Not on stream in all likelihood. Oh, we're dead. We're not dead. Because I've beaten Dark Rime multiple times in my life, but I... I never held interest in the post-game long enough as a kid to just not reset and do a new playthrough if I wanted to play Mystery Dungeon. I 
actually come to think, I played Explorers of Time and Darkness as a kid, so it probably didn't even have that post-game stuff. Oh, we've seen everything. I don't think I'm taking the Sand Slash. I actually think Protect is a pretty handy move for this. On paper, because it... lets you make informed decisions. You know, about whether you want to heal, or whether you can set up on something and stuff like that. Of course, comes at the cost of a move slot. But I would actually like to run something that has Protect and see if that theory actually holds up. You were gifted Explorers of Sky on Christmas, as a kid or recently? Lord Helix. Unfortunately, Lord Helix is in the possession of the old man. Out of our reach forever. Just like... Bird Jesus. Didn't Bird Jesus... I might be misremembering the events of Twitch Plays Pokemon, but didn't Bird Jesus get released while they were trying to get the Eevee out of the box to evolve into Vaporeon? As a kid. Okay. We'll check this, because it is Drought. Drought can make seemingly bad Pokémon a little bit better. That said... Unless it shows one of the moves that goes with it. Ice Punch is a solid move, Murkrow is not very good. Let's go look elsewhere. There's having ship memory and there's also the fact that... Twitch Plays Pokemon was... I didn't watch the original, I've only heard the history of it. But I have to imagine it wasn't actually all that interesting to watch. You had to participate. And the number of watchers is much higher than the number of participants. At least on Twitch. My But back to Mystery Dungeon, my first experience with Mystery Dungeon was... God, it was actually renting it from Blockbuster. And the... We rented a copy of Explorers of Time. And... Let me tell ya. It's lucky that... I had played Red and Blue Rescue Team, because this was my first experience with Explorers, not with Rescue Team. 
it's lucky that we had the rescue team game, so I knew that they were good games. Because the file I got was in a really garbage state where whoever had been playing it before was just dying over and over again in temporal power. So they had no money and no items at all, pretty much. And we're basically stuck, essentially. Because the Primal Diablo Gov fight is... is a bit silly with Roar of Time. Do you like getting one shot by a full... full move? Full room move. Evidently, that person didn't wrap their head around, throw a seed at it. Okay, that's a move. We'll come back to Torkoal. That is a move. Cloister. Oh. Huh, that might kill me. No. Summit without any Viver Seeds or Snap Boosting moves. I did that too as a kid, because my first set of starters were not of the OP kind. And then I realized how broken Pikachu is in Explorers, as a starter. Because you get Agility and Discharge. And discharge. So multiple attacks per turn that are Hitting the entire room is balanced. And then when I play Explorers of Sky, I seem to always get shanks as my starter. Whenever I... But that's probably because I answer the have I played Time or Darkness question with yes. Also, Cloister's fast. Blaster is pretty fast. We'll see if we can find a level 8 of that. That wouldn't be terrible. But the only... The only really hard thing about... Base Explorers, at least for the main part of the game, was... Was the Primal Dialga fight. I... Yeah, I don't remember ever getting stuck any... Okay. For the main story. The Wigglytuff fight is hard. If you have nothing that hits the entire room, the Wigglytuff fight is actually hard. Faster than me now. I need to start running. 
we, never mind the whole running part. We're dead. Di to a turtle that is quite fast and uses mega horn, in spite of having no apparent form. <laughs> The marvels of randomized Pokemon. Darkrai is bullshit, too, because... Cresselia spawns, and Cresselia dies. And I had a really hard time as a kid, because... There is... Even with Pikachu, because there's a Rhyperior with Lightning Rod. So I couldn't just nuke the room until the Rhyperior was dead. And by the time the Rhyperior was dead, Cresselia was dead. Or, well, needed to be revived. <laughs> and if you don't have a full room nuke, the problem is that they get close. And a lot of those, those Pokémon, if not all of those Pokémon, have the Intimidator IQ skill. So you just have a chance to not act. And then I got the Intimidator IQ skill on my Pokémon at one point, and it fucking sucks when you're trying to use it. The enemy is... is acting most of the time. Which made me think maybe it stacks per Pokémon that's adjacent to you. Oh, that's a decent one if it actually has stuff. Speed boost. Huh. Unfortunately... None of these moves are particularly good. And we only learn six moves. Invisible Seed. I eventually managed to win it legit as a kid. I... Can't remember exactly how. Probably just got lucky. And had a lot of revivers. fan of what's going on right now. Okay. Game heard me and decided not to scream. Not to screw me just yet. Let me issue a correction on that. I have never recruited Cackleon. I never really grinded out those games. And I probably wouldn't be particularly too inclined to attempt to re recruit Kexleon, because I don't really like grinding things out as an adult. But I would like to see just the later post-game dungeons. 
put out in two days ago. I mean, Tachyon's always been a bitch to recruit because he's a shopkeeper. Did you know that he was... I don't know about explorers, but he was edited to have Thief as a starting move in Rescue Team. Kakleon does not ordinarily start with Thief. Someone at the office was having a bit of fun that day. Yeah, I'm fairly sure you have to be at least level 90 and have all of the stuff. <laughs> So here's the thing about the Xanthros. These moves are awkward. It wouldn't be bad if the moves were less He did. And I think... I don't know about Rescue Team, but I know in Explorers, he does not start getting stats until pretty late. He like, really terrible stats. And then just one level is like, oh, here's... Aslan. And I almost wonder if there is some point in the game where you could throw a Doom Seed at a Cacleon and have and cross that threshold into Cacleon has bad stats. They just, I don't know, the first dungeon in the game that has shops. Probably not, though. My guess would be that's not a thing. But I wouldn't entirely discount it. I'm gonna look for something to switch to. Oh boy, we can't run from Cacnea up. Visor seeds. Oh, hey, Vaporeon. Okay. Revisor seeds. Oh, hey. Oh. So there's a problem. We probably can't run from this. I feel like we survive more often if we ball it than if we try to run. Nope. Okay, we're gonna catch the Vaporeon and see how good it was, because it was probably pretty good.
that's really unfortunate that it had a very good, super effective move on me. Thinking about no questions asked balling that, but I decided to ask one question. And the Vaporeon answered the question with You're dead. <laughs> if the Vaporeon is good, I might even pretend we didn't die and see how far it can get. Can you stop sucking at running from cacti? Tell you what, we'll catch it. Because it's at least faster than me. Which says a lot. What an actual shitter of a Pokemon. Okay, it's a Vaporeon. It's level 5. But we'll at least get to see the stats on it. God ahead sketch. Wow. Man. This thing was actually good. <laughs> like, normal most ground is already pretty good coverage. It is sketch. Probably has a good attack stat. Uh, and you know what's gonna suck is that the game is probably gonna take pity on me. And like, not show me another Vaporeon, because it's like, he can't handle this thing. No, I'm only adamant about catching one without... Well... It's more like throwing three balls at it is better than throwing one ball at low HP, I think. I'll use- OH COME ON! This is fucking- This thing's 
really good. And it had to kill me. It had to kill me. Thing is going to be a Marasa in spite of being more of a Wakasagi Hime because it fucking shipwrecked me. Okay, so. Yeah! That's pretty good! Wow, it even has free and compound on. It even has compound eyes, so Bonerang is perfectly accurate. Not the best ability, but useful. I want to see what the first bug catcher has. Thing is, thing's great, and I. Well, I don't get to run it properly. Oh, it would have died to a solar rock. Mm, maybe not. Like, this moveset is... Well, Bonerang is great. Flash is pretty good. It's nothing to sneeze at. Then Bubble Beam... Well, 13, 13 special attack at level 6 is fine, but not great. Bubble Beam... We'll do what we need it to do off 13 special attack. If this doesn't... If this doesn't die to the bug catchers, we're not... We're going to take this run, and we're not going to talk about the fact that it's technically dead already. I should follow the one. Fuck. Okay, thankfully it's not a good move, because I don't know what I would forget for a good move here. Yeah, we even creamed the first bug catch for this thing. Pretty sure Boomerang is still better.
Oh, hey! This ain't right. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. And it is a way. But I have one desperate I oh okay. You know, Nightshade's probably better than what we already have. But I was actually going to try and sketch sacred fire and burn it. Okay, we die here. I don't need to feel bad. At the very least, we know. Because I don't think we beat that thing even if we are two levels higher. Because that took nothing from anything. Maybe we look around for a really good sketch move, but I wasn't going to. At least I don't need to feel bad. Insult Conoco. Think you're just a stinky fish, Conoco. Remember when Overwatch was a thing? Yeah? Uh, hey. Kinda makes you feel old to think about Overwatch. Just to think about things coming and going, like... Like, when I hear the term... When I hear Overwatch, I still think... This game is popular. This game's not popular. Dead. Oh, come on. Seriously? 
Okay, I even have Jersey. Uh, Lamb is not not a thing. I name it after Conico when it learns Earthquake. You know what? We're gonna go die to the first bug catcher with this thing. And then I'm gonna go get ready for bad. <laughs> Because holy fuck, this thing has moved. It has 288 base set total. And a dream. If we had, I don't know, maybe rolled a whisk cash instead of a barboat and had these moves. Yeah, it evolves at level 30. So. This is exactly as terrible an idea as it sounds. It sounds like a better idea at 2.10 in the morning. If you listen to Baroche's cry closely, it even sounds a little bit like it's saying no. <laughs> it's a scary turtle. What is worth? This Barbo even has good special attack. Like, 22 at level 7 is pretty good. Confident, confident getting the item on the left that's deep in the grass. Although I say that, and we just got a polka doll, which is the most a polka doll has ever. Last place was the old man with me. That is the most a polka doll has ever figured in my mental calculus in the situation.
I say that, though. And it is worth noting that there's the Poké Doll glitch in Gen 1, where you can bypass the Ghost Marowak in Pokémon Tower by using a Poké Doll on it. I take one step in the grass accidentally and more food for the worms. Oddly fitting for sacrificing ourselves for the first bug catcher. Hey, this is well, we can't actually... that doesn't work in Gen 3. Oh. Fascinating. At least we show that Gligar... who's who. Even if we are immediately going to die afterwards, this is Body Slam Parody. I'm gonna try the potion. Oh, we have Shed Skin! I didn't know that! I sort of assumed we were dead. You know what, Kevin? We... Huh. <laughs> it's a garbage. It's a garbage. Some great shit. <laughs> okay. I, but I'm still gonna go to sleep before I, before I laugh myself silly over this barb. <laughs> All right. I. I'm sure everyone is eager to see Barboach conquer Kanto next time. Yeah, that's gonna be it for me for now. I hope to see you next time and have a good one.